the control sheet. In previous sessions, we would have spoke about using the likes of named ranges and um, the conditional formatting tool. It's in this control sheet that I had mentioned um, the best place to list off these name ranges and control our conditional formats is actually in the control sheet. So you can see I've created a small little table called name ranges. So every name range that I use throughout my workbook, I'm going to list it off in here. And what it does is it just gives the user, as I said before, a heads up as to the name ranges that are being used within my workbook or the name ranges that are being used within my formulas. Because it often there is nothing worse than clicking on a formula, seeing all these name ranges being used and, you know, not really sure as to where they're being, you know, where they're referring to, that kind of thing. So what I'm looking at here within my control sheet is being able to create a named range table, but also a conditional formatting table too. So in previous sessions, we've talked about both. And in both, I have mentioned that it's in the control sheet that I would list off all these um, ranges or I'd list off all these formats. In here, I would also look at the uh, putting in the current date. And again, if you want to manually put that in, or I have a function that we've mentioned in previous sessions called the equals today function, which will obviously keep pulling in today's date because it's a formula. It's obviously pulling in whatever the current date on your PC is. Um, I'm also listing off the currency symbol that I'm using in here. So we're working with dollar. Whether we work with the pound or the euro, I could list it off in here as well. Again, in the control sheet, it's also in here that I have a small table listing off all the exchange rates that I'm using. So I've got my dollar, my sterling, and my euro. If I was using any more, I'd list them into a small little table. What I'd also do here is make sure that each of these is using a named range too. So again, when it comes to making a change, I only have to make one simple change here. And hopefully any worksheets that are using our name ranges update straight away. You'll also note that I have my VAT rates in here too. So again, if I need to use the VAT rate throughout the workbook, because I've given it a name range, it means I only have to change one location. And that's in my control sheet. And any formulas that are using that name range will automatically update. So listing off all of these in the likes of a control sheet just makes working with this workbook that bit easier.